I'm so excited. Today will be the first night I spend in a teardrop camper with a Tesla. So a lot of unknowns today. I don't know how the Tesla is going to do with battery for pulling it. Um, I don't know how the, the teardrop is going to feel. So we're going to find out today. I got my fridge. It arrived today, just like right now. So I plugged it in. I'm going to cool it down and then uh, we'll get the teardrop set up. So I'm going to show you guys just real quick what I'm doing and then we'll, we'll fast forward to uh, actually towing the, uh, the teardrop over to the camp area. pulled off uh, to, to make some lunch and I found a spot that has a shooting range right here. So that's a um, really quick rice, steak, and eggs. Uh, kind of like a Asian fusion from my mom. My mom actually taught me this, doing it before, um, uh, actually, was it my mom? No, it was my sister. Taught me right before I left to college to make steak this way. It's easy and really fast and really cheap. I skipped a lot of steps on the video. You guys didn't see like um, the oils and other things that I put to it, but if you guys want to see more cooking stuff, let me know. Meantime, I'm gonna enjoy this steak while listening to gunshots. Feels like I'm in Sacramento again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Thank you. 
All right, got into the campground. The funny thing about camping out in the desert is uneven ground, right? But the, the camper is so light, I can lift it up from the tongue and then maneuver anywhere. So pretty much I find where the best spot it is to just kind of park the teardrop, unhitch it, lift it from the tongue, and just maneuver it. And what I can do is use these flat rocks to level it out. Yeah, well, it's a tiny little thing. Little on sink. <laughs> looking little unit man. yeah yeah the sinks a uh, pump sink and then we just carry a five gallon the pump sink sucks so I'd rather just put like a jug up top this guy is a customer of a shop that builds off-road race cars it's nice and dark it's quiet you can kind of see you can see people riding up in the hills like a group just went by there's another camp set up that way. That way, looks like a guy walking his dog that way. And this is a little fire. The whole camper is so small, it's so cool. I wanna show you guys my little setup over here. So, got my fire. Uh, my little table. I'll do reviews on this, guys. Uh, this company actually sent me some stuff, the chair, the table, so really handy. I picked up these lights on Amazon. I'll link these in the description. Um, but cool string light, just probably set the vibe and it provides really good um, light. That's like, doesn't take a lot, of, a lot of energy at all. So inside, I know it's a little dark, but you look, uh, it takes only five watts, four watts. And it's trickling only, so. It's not too bad. All right, so this is dinner. I got a wiener in my hand. And also, this is a hot dog. This is pretty good. Okay, so, so far, pulling in wasn't bad. Um, the teardrop is so easy to maneuver with the Tesla. You can't even feel it. I shot up from 20 to 65 pretty quick getting on the freeway, and it was really fast, really easy. Didn't, didn't even know I was at 65. Getting to camp, uh, pulled in, Tesla handled well on dirt, got out, and then I pretty much can pick up this entire trailer by myself because it's so light. Picked it up, put down the legs, and then try to find a very, really flat spot so that way at least the teardrop is flat when I'm sleeping. Uh, I used a leveler on your iPhone, put it on top of the roof right here, showed me where I'm negative and positive, and then I was able to just to move it around. I got a rock, which I tucked right under the wheel tire, pulled it right above, and then put these to stop the thing from rolling. I don't know what it is, guys, but uh, I love pickles when I'm camping. N no idea why, but I think it tastes so much better outdoors. So I'm kind of getting ready to sleep and went out and change. Check this out. I'm parked here, and you see all this desert, right? You see people rolling in? Right? They're out there having some fun. I don't mind, right? Kind of being next to the road, people are racing by. But let me show you guys something. So everyone's spread out. You can see they're spread out. They're super spread out. Right? The closest person I have to me is like right over there. And then this person right here decides to pull up. Right there. And turn on a generator. And he's probably 20 feet from me. I'm probably clear 75 feet from that dude. He's 20 feet from me. So he's squeezed in between coming through the entrance, which is way over there. And he chose to drive through park right between me. Check this out. Okay, this will be my first night sleeping here. It's cozy. I mean, it's not huge, but it's not tiny lights real bright the battery's still doing really well I'm about to unplug the fridge for a bit this is like one step above a tent because now it's a hard shell pretty warm inside right now it's about the upper 50s all right guys I'm gonna say good night I'll see you guys in the morning peace
goodness. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, first night in the teardrop, and it was actually really, really comfortable. I was really tired last night, but I slept pretty much through it. I think the only issue I had last night, it's not even the fault of the teardrop, it was the wind, and I think I can solve this because if I, it's a crosswind right now going this way. It's hitting against the wall of it, so it's rocking a bit. I think if I parked it facing this way, it'd go right over the teardrop and it'd solve pretty much the entire thing. That person I told you that parked like 20 feet from me is right there. Ran a generator all night, barely heard it at nighttime. But overall, the teardrop performed flawlessly. Um, I laid completely flat and it was very, very comfortable. It got to about the low 40s last night and it was very warm inside. Um, to the point where this morning, it's about 8 o'clock right now, I had to crack open the vent just to let some air out. Okay, I'm loaded up. And this is how the teardrop looks. It pretty much follows the track. See, look, you can't even see it anymore. It disappears right behind you. <laughs> I stopped at a Flying J to use the restroom. Everyone loves, loves this thing. Everyone always asks, uh, does this thing get any bigger? Does this thing go taller it's like no this is it what you see is what you get and that's got to be it for my first night in the teardrop hopefully you guys enjoyed that i know it's not the craziest most exciting video but this was a shakedown test for me to figure out what i needed in this teardrop for weekend camping for one or two nights and i discovered a lot actually i need a, a really good kitchen setup i need low setup time a low breakdown time so i can get up and go and move different sites um, i have a hot shower coming soon um, some really cool heavy duty rails so I can build a pull out system. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you did, please, please leave a comment just to let me know. It's my literature. I read all your comments. Please do. Until next time, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.